There's no doubt that Express LRS looks to be the RC system for 2022. It won't be for everyone, but you don't want to ignore it because manufacturers are rapidly getting on board and releasing compatible hardware. This Beta FPV Micro TX 2.4 gig 500 milliwatt module has just arrived. So let's have a closer look. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe, like and hit the bell for more videos like this. If you didn't already know, Express LRS is an affordable open source RC system that gives you ultra low latency and long range. And because it's open source, the early hardware tended to be modules that you needed to put in your own 3D printed cases, and it was all a bit DIY. During 2021, manufacturers' production versions started appearing, and I've tried quite a few of them. But for me, this Beta FPV Micro TX module is a proper product that's ready to go with no fiddling about. Well, almost none. Now this arrives as a complete unit, ready to go. You get a small instruction manual, which is pretty comprehensive actually. You get the module, you get a USB lead for doing firmware updates. It comes with a couple of antennas. Get that open. You get this uh, whip aerial, which is SMA. And there's this Moxon antenna, which is a beta FPV antenna. Now, this is the 500 milliwatt 2.4 gigahertz version but it's also available as ELRS 915 and 868 Hz. And there's a one watt version of this available as well now. And the price on this is $40, which is fantastic value really. Now, the only small complication with this is the official released ELRS firmware version doesn't support the OLED display and the joystick yet. So Beta FPV have branched the code and added their own support for them. There is a version 2 release candidate available now that does support the controls and the display, but you're going to have to check it out and build the code or download the binary and flash it. Now, flashing this is pretty straightforward actually. You can do it two ways. You can use a USB-C connector using the cable, or you can do it over the air. This has got a Wi-Fi uh, hotspot built into it. But if you want to update it, it's a bit of a fiddle but it can be done. But I'd recommend using the Beta FPV branch of the code already flashed on here and wait until the official version two is released that supports it, or just use the Beta FPV code when it's merged back into the official branch. So on here, you've also got an XT30 connector, which you'll need to supply power to if you want to use the max output power of this module. Um, some transmitters don't provide enough power, so that's to provide some additional power. You just need a 2S LiPo. But I haven't had any problems with this powering on with my TX16S. So let's get this fired up. Welcome to OpenTX. Module just plugs in as is normal. And you get this light show on here, which is pretty good. There's a fan in the back here, which is running all the time. You can hear it when you're indoors like this, but when you're out in the field, it's totally lost. Now to activate the menu, just long press the button and you use this button to navigate the menu. Now, although this is a joystick type button, don't get confused. The joystick movements don't do anything. I think that's probably for a later update. Oh, that's timed out, let's get that back on. To actually navigate this, you just single press like this. So you can change the packet rate, you can change the TLM ratio, power output, the RGB color of this, so if you 
long press it keeps flicking around like that oh, choose whatever you like and uh, then you've got the bind setting here and if we go down here we press update oops I need to long press that this is turned on the Wi-Fi on this module so that you can update the firmware this over the air I've been testing this on a few quads and it's been absolutely fine with this TX16S. I haven't done any extensive testing but this is the best of the modules that I've tried mainly because it just works. I've got some range testing to do because I want to use this on my AOS 7 long range quad when the weather picks up. Remember to keep an eye out for firmware updates on the official ERLS releases and the beta FPV branches. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, why not buy me a coffee to support the channel? There's links in the description. And I'll see you next time. Lesson pretty lies, drinking up your time now, dressing up your mind and falling.